examples of some word problems and this time we're going to um, give you another example of one dealing with ages. So here we have a problem that says a man is six times as old as his son. In three years he will be four times as old. How old are the man and his son? So again what we should do is start out by saying let x equal and we probably want to pick the youngest age. So since his son is younger than his father presumably then we can say, let x equal the age of his son. Okay. Now we need to express the father's age in terms of x, and so since the man is six times as old, that means 6x equals the age of the father. Now, of course, we're not ready yet to solve the problem, but we have some more information. It says in three years, he will be four times as old as the son. Okay, then we want to express their ages in three years in terms of x. So, if x is the age of the son today, then in three years he'll be three years older. That means x plus three will be the age of the son. And if 6x is the age of the father today, then in three years, he'll be 6x plus three years old in terms of x. Okay, now we're ready to go. Because now we can say that in three years, he'll be four times as old as the son. That means that this age for the father will be four times as big as this age for the son. So we can say that 6x plus 3, which is the age of the father in four years, will be equal to four times the age of the son, which is x plus 3. And now we're ready to solve this equation. First thing, let's get rid of the parentheses. So 6x plus 3 equals 4x plus 12. Remember, apply the 4 to both terms inside the parentheses. Now we move all the x's to one side, all the numbers to the other side, so the 4x goes here, the 3 goes there. Remember when we cross the equal sign we want to change the sign, so we end up with 6x minus 4x is equal to, we already have the 12 over there, and that becomes minus 3. 6x minus 4x, that's 2x, 12 minus 3, that's 9, and now we divide both sides of the equation by 2, that cancels out, we have x equals 9 over 2, which is 4.5. Okay, so how old is the son? The son is four and a half years old. How old is the father? Six times as much. So we could say son, 4.5 years. And six times that, so the father, Six times 4.5, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 5 is 3, or 0.5 I should say, so that's 27 years old. And just to make sure we did this correctly, let's see if that still works for 3 years in the future. So 3 years in the future, the son's age will be x plus 3, which is 4.5 plus 3, so that would be 7.5 years old, and 6 times x, which is 27 plus 3, that would be 30, and is 7 half, one fourth of 30, or is 30 four times 7 half, and certainly yes, so we did it correctly. All right, so that's another good example of how you work with ages.